Womit. So long. Take it you got our letter? Ma, that Burgess. That child went around to everyone in town to check up on their wellness. He has such a big heart. The results he came back with, I must say, were rather shocking. 80% of those who took the survey reported that they were at least suffering some form of anxiety. Some from the Gieglers, some from the state of things. So I got together with our resident expert in fun, Katori here, and... Well, Katori, why don't you tell our fine builder friend here what we came up with? It's my pleasure, Minister. I must thank you again for getting the church to support this project. See now. Way I see it, the only cure to these psychological drudgery type have you do, how do you do's is one word entertainment. Seeing as Gecko Station has recently become unoccupied, we now have the opportunity to turn a negative into a positive. I present to you sand sledding, but we won't call it that. No, too simple. We'll call it sand running. Sounds sleek and sophisticated, something the youth can identify with. Our tourism profits will quintuple overnight, and the mental health crisis, I assume, will also be resolved. This is where you come in, Builder. We need you to help us build up some of the things involved in creating such an attraction. 
I've already explained our needs to Mian. She'll be making the sand sleds. I need you to help us make the sign-in table. Here is the diagram. I drew it up myself. When you're done, please install north of the old Giegler building. How lovely! I love it when a plan comes together. Looking forward to seeing what the two of you come up with. Hey there. Catch you later. See you around.
So you see, uh, that mischievous little Mion made a teensy little mistake. When she said that we don't charge for overnight commissions, uh, what she meant to say is that actually, we do. In fact, that's an understatement. We charge out the wazoo for overnight commissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all about the overnight policies. It's just that Mian said she thought she could get us a discount. Yes, well, she's been overruled. Sorry, old pal, but if we made an exception for you, we'd have to start making exceptions for everyone. And that would be far too exceptional. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shortchange the good folks over at the Commerce Guild. That's what I love about you, Owen. Always so perfectly punctual with your payments. Well, I must be going. My employees won't reprimand themselves, don't you know? <laughs> so long! Oh, hey! Uh, you've come at just the right time. So, the wildest thing happened. Uh, Grace had a little spat with the oven and, uh, <laughs> long story short, blew the whole kitchen to smithereens. Don't worry. Everyone's fine, and luckily, Mian was available to help out with damage control. So that's all well and good. My issue now is that the night the kitchen exploded, Grace insisted she'd take a pay cut until all the repairs were paid for, and she wouldn't take no for an answer. But now... Now, without Mian's discount, I just can't let Grace foot the bill. She'd be scraping by for months, if not years. I paid Yen already. It's water under the bridge in my mind. Because, you know, these things happen. I, I can't stand letting her take on such a huge burden. She's just a student. All right, so here's where you come in. As a builder, you can just convince her that the repairs aren't that expensive. <laughs> then she won't feel so bad, and maybe she'll just forget about the whole thing. It's foolproof. All right. Uh, but uh, let's not be too hasty now. We need to be prepared if we're really going to change Grace's mind. She really has a way of turning things around on you. <laughs> uh, maybe she's on the debate team or something. 
Here's the deal. Whatever she asks you, just follow my lead. Capiche? Don't let her throw you off your game. Stick to the plan. Guess we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's go track down Grace. I'll be right behind you. Heidi, let me the mobile suit for a few days. I need it for research. Eh, and what research is this specifically? Specifically, one, analyze the operative efficiency of the mobile suit over various terrains. Two, analyze the feedback efficiency of the suit while testing specific control inputs. Three, synthesize these and other data in order to improve pilotability of the suit. All right, I walked into that one. That's on me. So what you're saying is, you want to learn to drive it better. Framing my research with such terminology diminishes the prestige somewhat. But yes, one could say that. Well, Doc, I know you love that thing, but uh, let's not forget what happened at the ribbon cutting ceremony. You crashed the suit. That was a whole lot of hurt. The injuries I sustained from said accident were minor and have since healed. You needn't concern yourself with... I wasn't talking about you. The soup! Things all banged up now. Won't even start. I see. Was this inoperative status in a mobile suit caused by my actions? Well, to be fair, just us using it on the bridge is where most of the wear and tear came from. I think your little fender bender was just the straw that broke the camel's back. I mean, it looks like the front armor is damaged, and the ancillary engine is broken. On top of that, several hydraulic power joints are beyond stressed. I'd say it needs an overhaul to say the least. Tell you what, the city's got no plans to use the suit anytime soon. Fix her up, keep her in tip-top shape, and you can go on your little joyride. Mmm, sorry. Do all the research you want. What do you think about that? I accept. Although I will, however, need a whole host of rather complex materials to make the repairs, and to say that the Civil Corps could handle such a task would be a rather dubious claim. Well, look who it is. When it comes to Max, why not ask our friendly neighborhood builder here to help us out? Quick, reliable, and a deft hand. There's no one better for the job. Uh, that is, if you want to do it. Hmm, yes. The builder has proven their ability to acquire specific materials in the past. Indeed, they will be quite suited for such a task. One moment, please. Here is a list of the materials needed to repair the mobile suit based on Heidi's conclusions. I believe you will find the list comprehensive and easy to understand. Excellent. Please check the list carefully. If you're thinking of emulating civil core habit of misreading an indexed item and recovering an incorrect material, instead, do not do that. I moved the mobile suit to my research center for its own protection. Please take care of it after you've found all of the required materials.
All right, all right, all right. This looks great. You're legit, Builder. And you're gonna love what we do at the Sand Runner Extravo Plaza. I guarantee it. I'll be in my museum devising plans. I'll make sure this is the best dang attraction this town has ever seen. Check your mailbox. I don't want you missing the opening ceremony. Most people aren't used to the smell of Yakmel milk when they first get to Sandrock. Not me though, I drink a glass every morning. People aren't used to the smell of So long, partner. partner
Howdy! See ya! Just need to put in a bit of salt. Ah, <gasps> uh, thanks, boss. Ah, <laughs> seems someone hasn't quite learned their lesson, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, look who I've brought. Your friendly neighborhood builder, here to help us come to a, a conclusion on that whole explosion incident. Oh, hey! And you're still on about that, Owen? That was a terrible mess, and I'm completely to blame. I'll be footing the bill in full for the kitchen restoration, regardless of what you may have told the builder here. Uh, hey, uh, come on, Grace. It's it's no biggie. And, and even if it was, the Blue Moon has plenty set aside for rainy days, or explosive days, for that matter. Anyway, everything is taken care of now, and it hardly cost me a dime. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask for a second opinion here. Alright, I'll bite. You plan to tell me the truth now, don't you? Let's begin. What is your name? Huh? Where are you going with this one? I have my reasons. Your name, please? Okay, next question. Next, where are you from originally? High wind. Nice weather this time of year, yes? Very windy, I've heard. That'll do. Now I know what you look like when you're deciding whether or not to answer truthfully. Next, I'll be asking what I really want to know. And don't even think about bending the truth to help Owen change my mind. Got it? I can read you like a book. Now, Builder, tell me. 
how much did it cost to renovate the Blue Moon Kitchen? <clears throat> you know, uh, more than a few glasses of milk, <laughs> but less than a herd of yak milk. Grace, it's fine. I wish you'd just forget about all this. Good, as I suspected. Next question. The events in question occurred two days prior, and on the second day, when I came to work, the kitchen was already as good as new. Something here doesn't add up. Don't tell me you builders are dabbling in magic. Explain. What's your angle, Grace? The two new builders in town are both riled up and full of vinegar. You're just used to old Mason and his whiny ways. Nothing unusual here, right? Hmm, I see. Next question. Regardless, Owen must have had to pay me on for working overnight. Tell me how much of that would have been. Ah, uh, well, uh, be that as it may, <laughs> the kind lady that she is, Mian gave me a discount. Uh, the difference in the bill was so small, I almost forgot about it. Owen says he was charged slightly more, and you're saying there was no overnight expedient charge? <laughs> uh, silly me, I, I guess there was no overnight fee. I must have just imagined that part. Uh-huh. Okay, next question. Grace, 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 Grace. Enough with the third degree. There's really nothing more to be said. Boss, you sure have a lot to say for someone who says there's nothing to say. Why do you always butt in whenever I ask a question, huh? It's starting to seem like you two are in cahoots. <laughs> cahoots? I, 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 what even is a cahoot, really? I think this whole ordeal has you on edge. Uh, but, all right, have it your way. I'll zip it. Continue with the interrogation, please. If something like this happened in the Commerce Guild, would your boss, Yan, handle it like Owen? Which is to say, would he insist on paying the damages out of his own pocket? Yeah, but the thing is, I think you do. You know, at first, I was kind of entertained by this little charade of yours. But, I mean, you could have at least put a little effort into your story. I'm afraid I can't oblige such a pithy performance. I'm sticking to my guns. The kitchen damage falls on me, and that's that. All right, all right. Looks like I won't be able to change your mind. I suppose I could take a hundred goals per month out of your salary, and then... Five hundred. Let's just get it over with. Ugh, come on. You'll be just barely scrapping by for months. That's nothing to me. Come on, I already agreed to let you pay. You gotta work with me a little. Stick with 100 a month, alright? Alright, alright. Thank you, Owen. Well, thanks for coming. And at least helping us get this mess sorted out. Sorry to take up so much of your time. Uh, stop by again soon for a drink, won't you? So long, partner.
Thank mm -hmm. you.